in Kane's Rancis, I made two comments, and apparently he blocked me. I pretty much know that he blocked me, and when I tried to make new accounts, he blocked me again. Okay, I know I can understand he has every right to block me because I'm kind of annoying him, but the problem with that is, is that my technology back then wasn't really that good than right now. I know my technology isn't as good as right now because I can't use um, Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas or anything like that, but I really can't edit in my comments. And I didn't mean to be immature, and throughout most of his videos, I really want to comment on his videos to give my thoughts on the episodes. I tried to watch most of Season 7, but I didn't watch every single episode because I'm completely burned out for a second time in the show. But anyway, I want Subs to talk to Uncivilized Elk about this because I really didn't mean to hijack or do anything because I was new at the time. I was actually kind of sad and disappointed of what I did. I didn't mean t for any of this to happen because I really just want to talk about Adventure Time since I barely did any internet stuff before December 2015 by making comments. Yes, I know you're kind of confused about the Uncivilized Elk thing, but if one of you are my subs, can you please talk to him and see this video of me talking about him? Because I really want him to unblock me from his channel so we can have an actual talk. But anyway, seasons 1 through 2 are my favorites because of how it all started. I mean, I know that's what seasons, all your seasons are about, but that's the whole point. But every season after that, I'm not going to say it's terrible, but it's just disappointing in my view. And what I mean by that is the changes. I really don't want to talk about whatever episode that I'm talking about because I really have a grudge on those episodes a long time ago, but not until later episodes. In case you don't know, I really hate Season 3 when it premiered. Why? Because of how it completely portrayed Finn against Princess Bubblegum. In front of Princess Bubblegum. Yes, I know the age difference, but... Season 1 and 2 never had that happen, and the issue I have with that is, is that PPP 13 only lasted so shortly. It didn't last that long. This is why I consider this a problem. I mean, I know that they're trying to add in more characters, but... Thelaine Princess introduction, in my opinion, was pretty much the loss. Before any of you ask, yes, I'm actually a shipper, but... Most of the time, because of the changes going on each season pass. Throughout... Season 3 through right now, they just go through mature stuff, which is kind of nice, but it's just so badly rushed and bad timing. I just don't like how they had to rush it out the door just because of age differences and time to move on and stuff. Because it just makes people completely hateable. This is when people start to despise people because of that reason. Yes, I know, but still... My point is, is that I never got into the relationship between Finn and Flame Princess because of PB. I mean, Flame Princess, it can't be likable, but that isn't until all the while where I finally realized that I can understand why she's so furious at Finn and doesn't see the real Finn. And this is not the only problem I have with this. Almost every single episode that involves a subplot. I mean, I know that some of the subplots, like, um... Uh, the Marceline and Ice King thing was really interesting, but I wasn't really focusing on that a lot. I only focused on one thing, and that's the PB and Finn thing. Yes, I completely ignore almost everything else, because back then, I called Season 4 weird. Yes, I actually called Season 4 a weird season because of random stuff going on. I know that's what the show is about, but I barely know about that until now. And about PB causing war chaos and being so overprotected of his kingdom. I'm sorry. I can't just agree with her on that because it's just out of nowhere for no reason at all. I mean, if it happened earlier in the season, it would be understandable. But for season 5 in Wizard Force and Apple Wedding, it's just out of nowhere. Especially King of Rue. I'll get to that later. Look, I know they're trying to give... PB more development, but it's just hard to buy, especially when she lost her kingdom. 
Now, I know that the kind of will nibbling everyone, but it's still hard to take this seriously because this is the third episode we see of King of Will. I know he made minor appearances, but that doesn't qualify. Here's another problem with the new episodes, is that King of Will is completely poorly executed in this. I still don't understand why a Adventure Time analysis like a Civilized Elk can easily agree with him. Why? Because it's completely washed. I really can't understand his character or where he come from. I mean, I know that he's a outsider, but that's basically it. And when he completely takes over the Candy Kingdom, and Mama says, he's a jock. That's it. I know that there's other characters that should be more to talk about, like Canyon, but he is barely executed at all. I mean... Even when he only appears in episode once in a while, I still can't take him seriously because when PB got her kingdom back, which is pretty fast, just like in too young, he just walks away. Even when he's a year old of death, I still cannot side with him. The problem with Adventure Time is, is that they end story arcs completely fast with no execution to the, to the characters. Look, I can understand that Adventure Time analysis don't have problem problems with that if they really love the show, but for people who isn't a very a good analysis like me, cannot agree with this. Especially that it didn't do anything for people except missing her kingdom. And by the way, the episode of Vomits could have been better until she realized that she really was going mean against everyone, especially Finn, but after that, when she got her kingdom back, everything just got back to normal. And that was one of the major problems in Sake is that everything went back to normal like nothing happened. <sighs> anyway, she completely views Finn as an immature level. And I understand that Finn isn't getting much maturity, but still. I mean, I usually side with him because he has every right to act the way he is because he was confused. When he was heartbroken, he was literally confused because of why Papa Gum completely uses him for no reason. I know that PB is a mess up, but this is why I didn't like it sent to him. In fact, it was one of my hated season 3 episodes back at the time. Because of the unnecessary breaking up in the rush story development. I literally have different opinions on this episode now since Oath and Wilder was released, but I'll talk about that in the future because I might make a top five episodes that I really didn't like or understand. But anyway, even though the PP has a reason to move on, it's, there is still no reason to reject Finn because Finn is her hero who completely saved her from the ice skin and stuff. In fact, in Wizard Battle, she co he completely saves PB from the ice skin. Finn never wanted a kiss from PB in the first place. And when Finn overreacted, he did a screechy noise, which I really don't understand how he was able to do that at all. Even to this day, I still don't. But anyways, I don't understand that Finn deserves that slap, but come on. He's just doing like he was been doing in all your seasons. Yes, I know I'm going to that episode and taking it a little too far, but I didn't like that episode. I really didn't. Even though when Finn got that kiss... That slap ruined it for me. Even though it's kind of taking it too far, but even even for PB, she she should really know that Finn was just doing the right thing. Anyway, my point is is that the newer seasons really lost my trust on the show because I've completely been changing for no explanation. I mean, there was, but I completely missed them or just don't understand them. You see, my comments in the Civilized Elk. I really didn't like the show at all after season 2. I was completely interested in the show because of Finn and PB, especially the season 2 finale when PB becomes a teenager now. I know it's really upsetting that it completely ended so quickly, but I really have a lot of issues about that. But anyway, I really wanted to see more about this show. So, the first episode I saw was Memory of a Memory, and it's actually one of the only episodes that I'd rather watch for the newest seasons of Adventure Time. If you want to know what I mean by newest seasons, I mean season 3 through 
right now. I know they're not new anymore, but it's just my opinion of what, what I'm trying to say. Now, I understand that the show is just trying to be more mature. However, it just isn't funny anymore. Why? Because not only that, no one just gets along. In Pikeye's review of the three major problems of Adventure Time, he talks about the characters being so apart with each other. And you know what? He's right, because we barely see all the characters interacting with each other in almost every single episode. I mean, I know they're trying to give Finn and Jake the spotlight, and about giving other characters the spotlight, it kind of worked, but it didn't turn out good later on. And about him saying that it's just very hard to take the story arc seriously because of doing it once in a while. I mean, I know that the Wilds are trying to make sure that these story arcs go on forever, but the problem with that is, is that they never give any enclosure with that. We don't get any closure at all. That is just the reason why people didn't like this show nowadays, especially when it completely lost everyone else's trust. And I completely lost this show's trust because of that reason.